cracking, everybody. Talk about choosing a company for a rookie. And I can't give too much insight in this because I am a rookie. At the end of this, I'll tell you where I decided to go and why I decided to go there. I think anybody who's been told the truth by their instructors or by people they talk to, most companies you start with, you're not going to end with. Most of these companies are training companies. There are a lot of companies out there that throw inexperienced drivers in as trainers. First year, we're going to suffer. I'm going to suffer. Chances are you're going to suffer. But you got to look, and when I did this, I had to look at long term. Instead of finding a company that I thought I could spend the rest of my career with, which I may have found, time will, only time will tell, I had to look at what I wanted long term what my goals were long term. As a rookie, you're not going to make that much money. You're not going to pull in what the big dogs make. You're not going to make that average salary. It's just not going to happen. You're going to be going slower. I'm going to be going slower. I'm going to be taking more time, especially navigating the big cities. You're going to be missing gears. Your backing is going to take you longer, etc. You're learning. I'm learning. But you got to look at your long-term goal. What are your ultimate goals? Do your ultimate goal to own a truck? Do you want to haul reefer? Do you want to haul taters? Do you want to haul hopper bottom, bull rack, flatbed, tanker? What do you want to do? Do you want to be a regional guy? Do you want to be over the road? Do you want to be local? What do you want to do? If you want to be a tanker guy, you know, maybe you've got to work for a lower wage at Schneider National. Hall and Tanker starting out. Get that experience in. Chances are you won't finish your career with Schneider, but you know what? you got that experience. you got that leg up when you go look for another job. Hall and Reefer, Dry Box, whatever. So you want to haul Dry Box. You want to run all 48 states. Maybe you got to go with the Creek here. Maybe you got to go with a Prime Incorporated. You know, maybe they're your, not your top choices, but you know what, you're gonna get that experience in. Right now in your first couple of years, what are you looking for? Experience, training, you get your feet wet. You know, I think, Listening to my uncle talk and a few other guys I know in particular that drive truck. I mean, that's the one thing I got. It was plan for the future. Don't worry about the now. Don't worry about finding a company right now that you're going to be able to jump right in with. Worry about the future. Maybe there's a company you would really like to work for, but they require a year experience, two years experience. Look at what they haul. Look at where they go. Make yourself a desirable commodity. They run all 48. Get with a company that runs all 48. That way you've been everywhere. Or you've been around. They haul reefer. Reefer experience would be helpful. They haul flatbed. Flatbed experience would be helpful. They haul tanker. If you find a company that will allow rookies to haul a tanker, you're more desirable. Because they don't have to totally retrain a guy how to do something. You've already got a basic understanding of how you need to do things. It's making yourself the best free agent that you can. I guess where it all comes into play is making yourself desirable. Look at where you want to work down the road. What you want to pull down the road. What you want to do. You probably won't be in with your dream company right away. But if you can get the experience that's going to make you more desirable by that company when you get the experience they require, it's going to be better for you. But this is coming from a rookie's mouth. So you got to take what I say with a grain of salt. Talk to your drivers. 
listen to what they tell you. And you got to do what's best for you. If you got an old lady, you know, you know, husband, wife, whatever. You got kids. That's all going to weigh in your decision making. Everybody should have a say. If you're a single cat like myself, you're going to have people. You're going to have people telling you, don't go with that company, don't go with this company, don't go with there, don't go here. People are going to tell you that about any company. You got to do what's going to be best for you, and that's where looking down the road helps. You know, maybe you're not going to stay with that company you're going to be going with. But you got to develop a plan. If you listen to what everybody else tells you, you're going to be in a big hole. Do what's going to be best for you because it pays to be happy. It definitely pays to be happy. Anyway, I have chosen to go with Melton Truck Line. And I shouldn't say it like that because it's more of a process of them choosing me. They're not the size of company where you throw in an application and say, all right, man, we're going to give you a shot and see how you do. They're not big enough to do that. You know, my whole process with them, I think I've been talking back and forth with them for about four months before I even started school. So I'm very excited. They were my top choice company. I'm very, very excited and very, very grateful that they chose to allow me to go to their orientation and get on their trainer truck. Very, very grateful, very, very thankful for Mountain Truck Lines for allowing me to do that. I want to haul flatbed. Mountain's going to put me through an eight-day load securement course, jump on the trainer truck for a month. Got to be road ready after that. I understand that, and I'm very happy for that because I don't want to come right home. Melton affords me the opportunity to stay out on the road. They have a minimum three weeks out from where I live here in Nebraska. That's perfect for me because I want to stay out one to two months at a time. Their trucks appear to be very driver friendly, 10 speed transmissions, I believe. But again, rookie, I haven't seen the trucks, you know, I don't know what I'm going to be in. So, I think it's Kenworth T660s. But very, very grateful. They're giving me the opportunity starting out to haul flatbed, to run all 48 plus US and uh, plus Canada and Mexico if I need to. Very grateful. You know, top choice company. It's not too often you get that, right? I know there's drivers there that have been there for a lot of years. So if they're a company I can stay with my whole career, then I'm very, very thrilled to do so. If not, oh well. If it's not a good fit on either part, then I tip my hat and say thank you for the opportunity. But I get a feeling right now it's going to be a very, very, very good thing for both parties. As far as what led me there, I wanted to pull flatbed. I wanted to stay out for a long period of time. I already covered that. Their equipment's nice, T660 Kenworths. But to be honest, as a rookie, I could care less if they threw me in a mid-roof Freightliner. I would rather be in a Kenworth. But if I had to go in the Freightliner, I would. Their load securement, the course they put you through, is top-notch. TMC puts you through a good one. I um, think Maverick puts you through a pretty good one. But I know Melton puts you in a really good one. I know their tarping class is very good. I'm very, very thrilled. They run all 48 states. They help guys out. Their trucks are very, very driver friendly. They put a lot of things in their trucks to make them so drivers can stay out for a long period of time. Their sleepers are a little bigger than normal, which is nice. But this is from a rookie's mouth. I haven't been there. I haven't been through orientation. I haven't been on the trainer's truck. I haven't been in my own truck. So, you know, what do I know? I'm just going by what people have told me and what I've seen talking to guys in truck stops. So, again, take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm by no means an expert on this company. I've done a lot of research. I've talked to a lot of companies, but I am no expert. When choosing a company, you got to do what's best for you. It doesn't matter what guy A, B, or C says. It doesn't matter what guy a gal A, B, or C says. It's 
It's about what's going to be best for you at that particular point in time. What's going to suit your plans the best. Mountain Truck Line was the best option for me. The number one option for me, and I'm ever so grateful that I'm able to pursue this dream with this company. I can never thank them enough for allowing me this opportunity. Anyway, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Best of luck to everybody watching this in their future. Chat at y'all later.